So here's the second part of our tutorial. Uh, the first part we modeled it all, so if you follow my first part, this is what you should have. If you didn't, I'll post the link to Mediafire to download the blend file as it is right here, so you can follow along. Uh, so now we're going to actually add all these textures, as you see here. And then in the third part, it's going to be the lighting. So let's get started. We're going to first texture the walls, which... If you're wondering, I got the texture from cdtextures.com. Uh, I typed in ice at the search and just scroll down and I got this texture right here. I've actually had this texture for a while. I used it for a different tutorial uh, on making a snow scene. I'm not sure if it was Andrew Price's or Jonathan Williamson's. But, uh, so I had that at my disposal and I decided to use that. So here we go. So now that we have the door selected, yep, here we got the door selected, we're actually going to add, nope, not the door, the walls, my bad. Add a new material, name that walls. We're not going to change this material at all, it's just going to be the new texture. And the type is going to be image or movie, and find that image to wherever you downloaded it to. Oh, sorry, one more thing I forgot. I actually made the image uh, from, I actually, I made it seamless. So I'm actually going to open it here and make it seamless for you. Open it in GIMP and make it seamless. So I actually got this tip from David Ward in his Making Trees from Bezier Curves tutorial so it was really helpful on how to make a, uh, a scene uh, seamless which was a really uh, big factor when I posted this up on blender artists that was a major flaw that you know people saw that they were um, you could actually see where the image started and stopped when it was repeating so I fixed that and it looked much better so all I did was I clicked and dragged and put these guides down and now we're going to click on our rectangle select and select this whole rectangle up to the guide and control C to copy control V to paste the move tool and drag that over to the other side of the image just like that now we're going to make that a new layer and using the eraser with this uh, fuzzy brush and decreased opacity and increased scale we're actually gonna erase part of this right here and erase it to where we don't see any seams I don't know how to best um, to, you know, uh, describe that to you but it actually e erases the top image and leaves the bottom image in place allowing you to erase as much as you want just like you see here, I'm erasing all of it, and it's going to leave my whole bottom image in place. But of course, that's not what I want, so I'm actually going to undo that and then redo it again. And this allows me to see where I'm going to erase so I can make it look better, basically. So I just erase down that whole line, and anywhere I see any sharp lines or any definitions, I'm going to erase into that. Just make sure you don't erase to this side, because that's, what, that's what's going to make it seamless. So now we have that down, let's actually merge that down as a layer. So now this whole thing is selected once more. And let's grab our move tool again. And we're going to click on this whole bottom, uh, this whole bottom portion that our guides put in for us. Control C, Control V, move tool and bring it up. I, if I didn't watch that tutorial I honestly couldn't tell you how to make it seamless because I am lousy at GIMP. And I think that looks right. Now we're gonna grab a erase tool. We'll actually make it a layer first so we can actually erase and wherever it seems I'm actually gonna erase all of this. I don't know if you saw that line like right there. If you see that you can't point to it. Um, that line right above my mouse that's that would be very bad in our image so that's what you want to prevent by erasing up 
And actually, I'm going to undo that so I don't go all the way over here. Because that will defeat the whole purpose of this. Erase all of this. He didn't actually do that, but I think that'll work pretty good. And our image by default has some straight lines in it. So if it doesn't be, if you see like a straight line there that we did not make, uh, don't worry about it. It's just, it just has to do with the image. And I did it again. There we go. Like us, uh, just right here. You know, see all the straight lines. It, it could be taken as a uh, repeat, but it's not, so just leave it like it is. Now we're going to save that. And, you know, just export that. Save that. Now we can actually open it with uh, Blender. So I'm just going to grab that once more. Whoops. Grass is not what we wanted. Let's open that again. And it's I actually just saved that as ice. My bad. And now uh, if we render this F12, we can see we have a nice wall texture. So that's what I wanted. We can actually see right here the shadows. So that means I have to scale this out. So I'm going to do right now. And now we're actually going to make the stair textures. We're not going to make them. We're actually going to get them from another website. Uh, the stair texture is actually a material from this website, uh, the Open Material Repository. Uh, you just enter a word that you want, and I entered concrete, and I got concrete too. Because I like this one. You download the blend file, and once you download that, you go to File, Append, find out where you downloaded that blend file to. Mine was in Blender actually. Concrete 2 is what it was called. Then go to Material and Concrete 2. Link append. You don't see any immediate changes, but if we were to right click on our staircase, add a material, click on this material button, and there you see Concrete 2. Click on that, and now we have a concrete material. F12, and we have a nicely materialed stair staircase. So that's pretty cool. Wait, let me check some out. Alright. And now right click on the floor and down click on the material in concrete too. That way it's also a concrete material. So now we have that down, let's get started with our door texture. So I actually got this from Google. Went to Google, that's actually a different door. And just scroll down until I found this one right here. So that's the one I used. Uh, I'll post the links below just to make it easier on you. Right click on my door, new material, door, uh, new texture, door, type is going to be image, but before we upload that image we have to actually open GIMP once more and open that door. And you'll see why in a minute. So wherever you saved that door to, that's not it. I know I saved it here. I just need to find out which one it is. Nope. There you go. Door JPEG. We can actually see it's gonna show all of this in our in our uh, Blender in our door Blender thing. So we, that's not what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna auto crop it by clicking here at this corner. Dragging down to halfway, not all the way down. There we go. I'm actually going to hit plus to uh, zoom in and just adjust that as we need it. And that should suffice. So double click. No? Okay. Try it one more time. There we go. So here's our door. And I'll just save that. Increase quality. I forgot to do that with the ice. And now we can import our clipped door. So textures and door. There we go. So now if we were to render this, it looks pretty bad because we need to do one more important step. 
and that is to actually project it from view so the door only applies right here. So now let's go to UV image editor. New under image open and open that same door material and I got this idea from another tutorial I'm all over the web these past couple days. Um, show you really quick blunt bend amend I just discovered him from blender artists I'll post a link down below he did this for a uh, how to create grass realistic grass in blender which I needed help with because I am not very good at that and so now so he helped me so now let's hit one with our door selected hit tab a to select all U project from view so now here is our door now we can whoops I inverted that scale that out right click on all these whoops I always do that hold down caps instead of instead of the uh, whatchamacallit the shift key grab that and just position that right to where the door would be there we go so now if we were to render this whoops one more step I always forget this uh... mapping UV now if you render this it'll render exactly what we have here and it did so so it's a nice way to get an image as long as you don't change the camera angle this does not work if you're doing like a flyby or whatever I, I don't know what those are called just any animation because from the back it will be let me actually hit zero go textured from the back it will be just solid like see-through because you don't have an image around the back so something to keep in mind now let's tab let's go to solid right click on tab out right click on our door trimmings we do the same thing and the place I got this texture from was CG cookies they had they have these freebies where they give out packages of textures and this like if you see CG cookie that means this texture came from it this, te this texture came from it so uh, so just go by their website on the link below and this will be it so now we're gonna hit one tab you project from view and there it is we'll rotate that scale that up grab that and just position it wherever you want wherever you want your trimmings to be like well I don't I don't know if that makes sense but like if you want this one to be black you want to position it over the black area I actually want it to be uh, just just like that I mean it doesn't really matter for me so now you should actually add a texture for this. That would be a good idea, right? <laughs> New texture, uh, image, or movie. Since this is in our program or software or whatever, I don't know how I'd call it, just click on stained wood. There it is. And just so we don't forget, image, mapping, no. Hmm. Oops. Add a material then get that texture don't know what texture that was texture yes now we can actually do that I always add a material first guys or else it'll look very crappy I'm gonna close this window control no F12 and now we have that texture so this basically completes it for our tutorial um, for this tutorial anyways thanks for watching um, the new tutorial for um, the lighting will be up soon. Um, one more thing though, do you see the edges are kind of sunken in? Just rotate that, hit R twice and rotate it up slightly. Just like that. And grab that and just position that a little better. Um, so yeah, just thanks for watching. Uh, if you followed it and you got it down, make sure to watch the second one. If you don't have it down and you just want to start with the lighting I'll post the blend file up on Mediafire it'll be in the description below but anyways thanks for watching